with just weeks to go before students head back to school. The chaos continues at the State Department of Education. And boy, it got emotional today. Many districts are weighed down by problems with education standards. Ashley Moss reporting on the concern over who's making the grade. I feel very strongly about public education. There's a lot of us that care about our students and, and our teachers. Long lines were met with a strong show of support for public schools outside the State Department of Education. Yes, our schools are underperforming. Yes, we are ranked lowest in the nation. That is absolutely true. I'm just disagreeing with some of the ways they feel like we should approach that. Inside, tensions mounted in the continued showdown between the board and Oklahoma school districts. One main concern, accreditation. While 376 school districts have no issues, 208 are currently pulling in poor grades. In particular, Tulsa Public Schools. They've been one of the worst performing schools in the state of Oklahoma. And us as a Department of Education have to do what we can to ensure that those kids are being supported. The state superintendent says the district, made up of roughly 34,000 students coming from lower income and diverse communities, has been plagued by problems and complaints. What we have seen is a district that has failed the students. We are looking at all possible actions with this district to ensure that all state laws, all rules, are being upheld by that district. The focus on failure fueling concern that calls for empathy will fall on deaf ears. What you do or don't do for Tulsa affects all Oklahomans. This is not how you treat parents. You're there are 33,000 kids. In Oklahoma City, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. As it turns out, we'll be waiting a little longer to see if the superintendent takes drastic action for Tulsa schools in particular. Members voted to move the decision to August's board meeting, and of course we'll cover it.